I'm the Kiki Poly Atheist. Today on the show, we're gonna talk about the relationship escalator, which is a great analogy about how relationships tend to escalate. We're also gonna talk about what you can do about it. Stick around. I'm super excited about today's episode because the relationship escalator was something that really was an aha moment for me the first time I heard it. And by the way, the first time I heard it was in a book called more than two, which I highly recommend, and I'll drop a link in the description for you. Also in the description, you'll find a link to my store, a link to the podcast, and a link to the YouTube channel. You can also find a link to our Facebook group. So think about this for a second. Imagine you and your crush are standing in front of a staircase. That staircase is the direction of your relationship. Every step on the staircase is another step in your relationship. When you two are standing on the first step, you're just hanging out more. When you're standing on the next step, maybe you're touching each other a little bit. Maybe step three has the two of you hugging hello and goodbye. Maybe step four involves a kiss. Maybe on the fifth step, you're going out on dates once or twice a week. On the next step, you're taking turns spending the night at each other's houses. Another step, you're introducing each other to your close friends. Another step, you're introducing each other to your family. There's a step on the staircase for moving in together. There's a step for buying big objects together, like furniture or cars. There's a step for spending the holidays with each other's family. There's a step for getting married. There's a step for having a baby. There's a step for going on vacation together. There's a step for retiring together. There's a step for growing old together. There's a step for buying a house together. There's a step for living happily ever after. So this staircase is basically a path that a relationship is expected to take. Have you ever noticed that? A lot of monogamous relationships specifically, there's this path. Let's say your mom finds out that you're dating someone. What's the first thing that falls out of her mouth? What's the next step? She'll say, when are you guys gonna move in together? And when you move in with somebody, she'll say, when are you gonna get married? Or vice versa, she'll ask you when you get married and when are you gonna get moved in? As soon as you move in together, when are you gonna have a baby? It's this unspoken cookie cutter relationship path that everyone is expected to take. And it's supposed to escalate. Whenever we're on one step, we're always expected to be going to the next step. So it's not really like a staircase. It's literally like an escalator. You get on the bottom and you ride it all the way to the top. And that's the plan for everyone. What are we doing? We're trying to get to the top of this relationship escalator so we could live happily ever after. And when you get on with somebody at the bottom, they're expected to rise up to the top with you until the day it breaks and you both fall off back to the bottom and have to start over. What I love about this analogy is that it reveals that there's some standard expectations on most relationships in our society. And those expectations are always about getting to the next step on the path. And you don't have to do that. You can reject all that pressure. You don't have to buy into the idea that love and happiness is waiting for you at the top of that staircase or at the top of that escalator. You could build your own staircase, you could build your own escalator, or you could just walk away from the whole thing entirely. It took me a long time to figure that out. I really bought into what TV and society and fairy tales were teaching me about living happily ever after. I really thought the point of life was to go rescue some princess, fall in love, and live happily ever after. And I know I'm not the only one. Some of us believe in this fairy tale so strongly that we feel like a failure when we're not on the escalator when we don't have someone in our life and it's not on its way to happily ever after. Some of us can't be happy today because we're so busy looking at that distant point where we'll be married and settle down and have kids and finally be happy. In all honesty, it's not a surprise. If you look at TV and movies, they pretty much paint a picture that if you're not in a relationship, you should be looking for a relationship. And if you're in a relationship, you should be looking to take it to the next level. And if you can't do that, if you're single, you're a loser. A lot of movies have that message. Thank goodness I discovered the opposite is true. You do not have to do a bunch of things before you're allowed to be happy. You do not have to have a relationship before your life is considered a success. You are allowed to be happy today and you're allowed to be successful today with or without a significant other. I also realized that you can literally turn the escalator off. You could turn it into a staircase and you could build the staircase in the direction you want to go. There is absolutely no pressure to be on any step on the staircase. 
There's no pressure to be on the next step on the staircase. If anything, I learned that if you could savor being on every step, your life can be incredible. My life became absolutely amazing the day I realized I can build a staircase any direction I want to go, and I can stay on any step as long as I want. Here's an example. I have a friend that I sometimes cuddle with. There's no sex, there's no groping, there's no kissing. Clothes are optional, but it's just cuddling. And let me tell you, it is wonderful. It is an incredibly wonderful relationship that I have with this person. I've got a little bit of a crush on them. We cuddle sometimes and I get to basically savor the feeling of having a crush on somebody and not acting on it. I get to savor the feeling of just holding someone. I get to savor the feeling of falling asleep with a friend that I trust, who trusts me. And it's incredible. We enjoy being on this step on the staircase. There's no pressure to take the relationship to the next level. We just get to enjoy each other's company and cuddle. And that's it. Not looking to escalate. But every time they're around, I definitely savor the feeling of having a crush on someone. I definitely savor the feeling of wondering whether or not we'll cuddle tonight. And that's wonderful. I have a different friend who I also have a crush on. Sometimes we go on dates and every now and then we get frisky. It's never an expectation, but sometimes it happens and it's wonderful. Neither one of us are looking for a relationship, but we are looking for someone to have fun with, to spend time with, someone we can trust, someone we could share ideas with, someone that we trust getting frisky with, but at the same time, someone who won't try to integrate themselves into our lives or integrate me into their life or vice versa. We get to be amazing friends and we get to do amazing things together. And we're in no rush to be anything other than exactly what we are. And it's wonderful. We get to savor this as long as we want. I get to savor having my heart flutter for someone I have a crush on, for going on a date, not knowing where the date's gonna go tonight. I get to enjoy when they're not around and I can't wait till I see them again. And I'm gonna savor being on this step in this relationship for as long as possible. I have another friend who's actually monogamous. She's single, but she's monogamous. We have a few things in common but because we have totally different perspectives on relationships in general, we would never pursue a relationship together. However, we have an awesome friendship. The step that we're on in the relationship staircase that I'm building involves being there for each other when one of us is down. It involves rooting each other on. It involves hugs, hello, and goodbye. It involves cooking together. It involves sharing dreams and goals. It involves rooting for dreams and goals. It involves going on road trips together and adventures together, and hikes together. And we get to be on this step in a friendship, hopefully forever. I've got one more example. I have a friend where we got pretty close and we actually did escalate a little bit and would sometimes sleep together. Unfortunately, we found a third party started to get jealous and it basically muddied the water and made the whole thing complicated. Rather than risk our friendship or risk our friendships with this third person, we decided to cut off the physical side of our relationship. We stopped getting frisky together. We stopped having sex together. Basically, we found ourselves on a step on the staircase that wasn't working, and we decided to take one step down. And you know what? We're still great friends today. We backed up one step, and now we're hanging out there and savoring it. And it's a wonderful place to be with this person. What I'm getting at is that every one of these relationships is successful. I have a wonderful cuddle buddy. I have a wonderful person that I'm dating and getting frisky with sometimes. I have a wonderful crush on a monogamous woman that I will never pursue. I have a wonderful friend that I am no longer physical with. The day I realized you could stay on any step on the staircase was the day suddenly every relationship I currently have is successful and wonderful. And there is absolutely no pressure on anyone to escalate to the next step. No one is being pressured to change. No one is being pressured to be anything other than exactly who they are. And everyone's being loved for exactly who they are and what our connection is. 
I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I just naturally found myself in situations where hanging out with somebody a little more often basically meant the relationship was expected to escalate. One of us would probably feel that way. And one of us might be pushing for the relationship to escalate. And the other person would kind of have to figure out, hmm, do I really want this to escalate? That doesn't happen to me anymore. Now I just get to enjoy people for who they are. I get to enjoy them where they are in life and where I've happened to have bumped into them. I get to savor our connection for as long as possible. And instead of hoping for a change, an escalation, I actually started savoring what we have, knowing that it wasn't gonna last, that one day it will change. So savor what you've got today. Another thing the relationship escalator taught me was how relationships break down. I noticed that when relationships escalate a few steps higher than where they really should be, that's when things tend to explode. It also leads to situations that I've found are not recoverable. What I'm saying is, sometimes you and a friend can realize you're on the wrong step and take a step down. But it's much harder to take three steps down. There's more hurt involved, more feelings, more broken hearts, more anger. Sometimes you'll find yourself in a relationship where you've moved in together and you're not getting along and you realize you probably never should have moved in together, but now you're six months into that. So now what? And when you try to take a step down, it ends up just creating more conflict. And before you know it, you and that person aren't even on the staircase together anymore because you couldn't just take a couple steps back. You ended up falling to the bottom. Now, my whole approach to relationships is to take as much time as I can on every step, savor it, and look at the next step, but don't step there. Don't go up a step until you know it's right. And if it doesn't feel right, go back down one step and hang out. There's no need to rush up this escalator ever again. My life improved immensely the day I stopped racing up this escalator. And I'm hoping that today I've given you the same gift. I'm hoping that I've made you aware that you can build a staircase wherever you want it to go and you can hang out on every step for as long as you want. And you can also have many different relationships on many different steps and they can hang out there as long as you want. Just enjoy people for who they are, where they're at today. I'm the Kinky Poly Atheist. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to send your questions to ask at Kinky Poly Atheist. Check the description for a link to our podcast, our YouTube channel, our Facebook group, and our Kinky Poly Atheist store. Good luck building your staircase. I'll see you next time.